this is Kelly Hobart and I'm here to show you how to cast on for this pattern. It's called A Little to the Left by Amy Gunderson. And this pattern involves on round, we start by casting on eight stitches, then we sit, we knit one round, and then we start increases. Forget about this knit front and back. This one, it says slip one, make one purl, and then at the end you would have 16 stitches. This is very difficult to do with this single ply yarn, and so what I've done instead is I've used yarn overs. So let me show you how I start. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by casting on eight stitches using the long tail cast on method. So I'll cast that on. And then what I would do is I would split your stitches in half. I'm using the magic loop method and a longer cord on mine to be able to do this, but you can, this can be done with uh, double pointed needles or whichever way you choose to knit is just fine. It'll work. So this is where I have cast on eight stitches and I knit one round of knit stitches. Now for the next round, I'm going to be going knit one yarn over. This would be round number two. So I'm going to go knit one yarn over knit one yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. Then I would put my needle back into the position to do the other side, making sure to maintain this yarn over that's on this end here. So I gotta put my yarn back into position and then knit one, yarn over, knit, knit one, yarn over, knit one yarn over, knit one yarn over. And I have two, four, six, eight. Now I have my knit ones and yarn overs, and my last round is going to be knit one and then purl the yarn overs through the back loop. So I'm going to be going knit one. And then I can see that this right here is my yarn over, so I'm going to switch my yarn to the front and I'm going to purl through the back loop, knit one, purl through the back loop, knit one, purl through the back loop, knit one, purl through the back loop, Bring your needles around again. And you gotta kinda wiggle it into place because everything gets all kinda tight in the very beginning of starting the hat top down. So knit one. And there's my yarn over, so I'm gonna purl that through the back loop. Knit one. Purl through the back loop, knit one, purl through the back loop, knit one, and purl through the back loop. So now if we look at our pattern right here, that is complete and we have knit one, purl through the back loop to the end, and we have 16 stitches on our needle, so we can go right to round three and then continue on with the pattern. We have enough of our hat started so that it is not too tight to work anymore. So if you just use that method to start, you'll get started and be able to make your hat easily.